since I have uh, iPad Pro, I can actually show you, maybe. Um, my contraption, horrendously filthy contraption that uh, I use to mount my dear jorts, my phone, in front of my face. Um, it's a keyboard too. Uh, of course I'm shirtless, so. Um, whoa. I've never looked. I've never seen my phone up close this before. before. Um, ooh, and then I almost dropped the iPad, of course. Uh, I guess what I could demonstrate actually is a little more relevant. So, you might guess, in order to do this in a way that doesn't hurt your eyes, it basically requires constant fiddling, okay? You move around, um, god, I can't zoom out. Uh, so, this, this, by the way, this is just a really terrible, uh, car, like, like, um, vent mount, literally at this point duct taped to um, a, uh, semi-professional but thoroughly worn out, um, tripod from the J-School, actually. Um, so, but the cool thing about it being actually a real tripod, it is, it has resigned to creaking tremendously, um, and it is a little bit off kilter because it's not designed, it falls all the time, uh, but, God, this is gonna be bad. This, all iPad videos will end up looking like this, don't they? It's fine. But, we have a lot of axes of movement here, and the problem is I can't, it's gonna fall apart if, uh, let's see. This, uh, that's one. And then, of course, this is one, but, um, that's such a shitty mechanism that, uh, you know, it, it pivots to pretty great angles. I don't understand. I'm actually really surprised that it's held up. Uh, and then this, um, pivots all the way around. Um, <clears throat> I've actually gotten kind of good at it. Like if there was a camera wall mounted, it still looks ridiculous. Of course we get it because it is ridiculous. And then, of course, there's this <coughs> axis, which I just did tight again, but that's yet another axis of rotation. Um, actually, it, the whole thing, the whole issue is suspending the phone in front of you in a bed where the this leg, um, I was trying to get the phone significantly past that leg, right? Uh, I guess the only thing I think of is like when an engine in a car sits way out in front of the front axle. Um, that's why like, and like I even shortened this leg to put, to get this like even closer to me. I don't know why I'm, t I don't know why I need to hold it and look at it through the, uh, um, <laughs> viewfinder, but uh, it's usually also plugged in because um, using an I iPhone as a professional device. This, this I put this phone through so much. Um, I don't know if there's that much more I can say. So like, uh, I did, I have been, once again, I've, like I've moved this from its current position. As you can see, it is all the way extended. Uh, did I finish saying that that's what put this, puts this off balance, even though, even this light phone We'll put this off balance in a way that it will fall if any of the legs are moved. So my dogs are unfortunately terrified of it. Um, and uh, I probably could knock it over right now. <laughs> I'm tempted to do that. Uh, this has to stay extended all the time. There's a, this is not supposed to be unsecured. But this has some very strange you can hear it, I think. That's a notch right there. Um, I don't actually know, probably I don't know how, how well this is functioning to, to its original function. Uh, I 
don't know why there are notches. As you can see, I've broken that off. Uh, I broke this off, and I like I have no idea how I did this. Uh, I broke the crank off for this, but um, you can just force it to move if you loosen it all the way. Uh, you've seen the pictures that I have. I have uh, my Nikon Cool Picks mounted there, but that's what this is true to. Uh, or was originally is I just I was like I am fucking accomplishing this whether I want like what no matter what happens and I just forced uh, the nut that to screw into the bottom of into a hole that was that uh, was far too small for it and the result worked for a very long time surprisingly and then it just fucking fell off and I did what I should have done in the beginning which is duct tape it. I'm trying to do this in a way that's, so that I don't ever have to do it again. Not have to, but so I don't, I've done it comprehensively, but, um, oh, there's my compact portable. Yeah, that's all you really need. Still putting off working on it. Uh, it, it's not, okay, I guess I could show you like maximum extended, which would just be this all the way out, right? Um, and like, like basically the, 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 the dynamic that you experience in this, um, is it's at its maximum, it's usually not quite enough, <laughs> uh, which is why I shortened that leg. But yeah, um, maybe I'll actually do this in a way so you can, I'll get my, my mother to film me. I don't know if I can get her to film me for that long. Maybe I'll just get another tripod uh, to film me like as I would just setting it up because it, it takes some consideration. Um, I guess I've been I've been asked how I do this. Not a lot, but it's kind of it's come to think about. It, I think it might be the thing that people ask me about iPhone keyboarding. The most and I guess I that's understandable because um you know obviously there's nothing bespoke meant for this so uh start a company with me <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what you'd really do uh I can tell you that uh, I don't have handy but I have a broken um again I don't know why I'm, I'm holding it for you, the, I'm manifesting it for you. Uh, a broken, what do they call, what do you call inductive chargers? Wireless, a wireless charger. I have a broken wireless charger that's a stand that pops up. Uh, and that is not the right angle for keyboarding to it with either the keyboard place here in front or uh, back here, which is the only video uh, popular video of iPhone keyboarding that you've ever seen, maybe, maybe, is the one that Bear did. <laughs> and I kind of hate it because it's obvious that they don't, that person doesn't do it because it's, the phone is like randomly somewhere else on the desk and they are keyboarding. And yes, they do show all the cool keyboard movements in Bear, but like, uh, oh boy, I better take pictures of this now, I guess. I'm noticing that the iPad Pro camera does not constantly autofocus, which I like because I'm, I'm constantly tapping my subject out of habit. Uh, so you'll notice that, yeah, this is nice. This is about right for me. Anyway, um, if I can be of any more help on this, let me know. It's really not that complicated, but then it's really not that ideal either. So <laughs> maybe we'll figure out a better solution.